Hey guys, and welcome back to Irma Sofra. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the many ways that I make kadaif, so stay tuned for this recipe. So all kadaif really is, is shredded phyllo dough, so you can really do anything with it. It's really great to work with, very easy to work with as well. So all I did was I cut up my phyllo dough. My phyllo dough has been thawed out completely, so it's at room temp. I cut it up into small pieces and then I got this on Amazon and I'll link it down below so that you guys can use it too or you can use a cupcake pan, it's up to you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to melt some butter with some oil on my stove top and then I'm going to take the butter and I'm going to add it to my kadaif. Now you guys will see I took some of the kadaif out of the bowl and that's only because my bowl was small so I couldn't really mix everything together. But I end up using the whole package of kadaif with the butter and the oil. And like I said, just make sure that every single piece is coated in that butter and that oil. And then I'm just going to add that shredded kadaif and butter blend into the pan. I didn't coat the pan with anything because the kadaif has enough butter and oil on it where it's not going to stick and it's a non-stick pan anyway so we're not too worried about that. And you're just going to press in and make sure that every little side of that pan is coated with the kadaif because we don't want any bubbles. We want this to be a nice and stiff uh, uh, kadaif dessert because we don't want it to fall apart. So once they are all filled up and you put some kadaif on top as well, you're going to bake these until golden brown on the edges. We're not looking for golden brown on the top because we don't need it to be golden brown on the top. What we want is the bottom of the pan to be golden brown and beautiful. And we're going to bake this. And while this is baking, we're going to make this simple syrup. And simple syrup is easy. It's my recipe that I use for pretty much all of my desserts. I'll put it down below if you guys need it again. So I'm just making some vanilla pudding while my kadaif bakes. Just follow the instructions on the back and making it. You can use any type of pudding you like or you can use whipped cream. You don't have to use pudding. So mine roughly took 35 minutes to bake and I can tell that they're done because the edges, the sides of the kadaif are beautiful and golden brown. You can see the top doesn't have that much color but like I said we're not worried about the top. We want that bottom to be beautiful and golden brown and you guys can see right here I'm showing you trying to show you at least that it's beautiful and golden brown and ready to go. We're going to let this sit on our countertop for like 10 minutes before we add the simple syrup. We don't want to add it right away because we don't want to shock the kadaif. And all we're going to do is we're going to pour this over a ladle's best and just using a spoon to show you guys what I do. And you want to make sure that the simple syrup comes to the surface of those pans. So each little pan should have the simple syrup coming all the way to the surface just so that that kadaif is soaked. You're gonna have simple syrup left over. Do not throw it away. You're gonna uh, leave that for later. So when you take them out of the pan, we're gonna drizzle them again. Okay, so the next day I took them out and I'm gonna tell you guys, please don't do that because when I left them in the refrigerator to sit overnight, what that does is it stretches out that kadaif because it's now soaked in simple syrup so it, it gets very tight in that pan and it's a pain to take out of the pan. So I, what I would recommend is soaking them in the simple syrup, letting them sit room temp or in the fridge for like an hour or two and then taking them out when they're cool. Make sure that they're cooled completely before you take them out of the pan. If you leave them overnight like I did, it's totally fine. The only problem is it's very hard to take out. You're gonna kind of use some muscle and kind of pound it out with the pan. And all I did was I just used one of my sheet pans. I put it on top and then I flipped it over. Okay, so now I took the kadaif out of the pan. I toasted up some hazelnuts and I did a rough chop and I'm just gonna add them to the center. And like I said, you guys can put anything in there. Fruits are great, dried fruits, or you can do some canned fruits. Canned peaches and vanilla with kadaif is my absolute favorite. So if you want to try that, go ahead if you don't want to use nuts. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I just took a half a stick of butter with my vanilla. You can use the butter, it's optional, but I would recommend using an electric mixer, to, mixer I'm sorry, to kind of beat up that vanilla because we want it nice and fluffy when we go to put it on top of our kadaif. Thank you. 
And there you have it, you guys. Your Kadife is done. If you've never tried Kadife, I highly recommend it. That sweet bottom with those crunchy bits of nuts and then that vanilla pudding on top is absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. I hope you guys are staying safe. Have a good day and I will talk to you guys next time.